What's up everybody? I am back and I am wearing the same outfit I am in the other two videos I uploaded before this one. But you know how it is. Mama gotta film. Mama can film. So this is what you get. Um, this is Dollar Tree haul. It's kind of a long one. So grab yourself a drink. Grab yourself a snack. And uh, I'll wait to get into it. Um, so Let's start off with the bag. I told you, I've been feeling this mustard yellow, right? Like just, just love it. And this bag, look how big it is. This was $1. So I had to buy the bag because it was either seven cents for one of their throwaway plastic ones or a dollar for this guy, which I can always use, always. So uh, we got the boys. We had two more of these, I believe. We gave them to them already. But they're Hot Wheels, and they're like, um, they're like Day of the Dead themed. Look at how freaking cute. If I had a ride like that, I would totally have a ride like that. I could afford it. But yeah, so I don't know if like they're special edition. Let's see, these two cars are different. Yeah, they're different. They're different prints. Oof, love that black and white car. If I could have that car in real life, oof, I could. I got this little dome thing. Uh, because Manny actually found me a cicada body. And now I'm going to try to mount it. Because now I'm, you know, into bug body since I got that uh, stag beetle. So I bought this in this with the intention of mounting the cicada. Um, I got this coloring book, etchings. Um, this was just gorgeous. Like the pictures in it, like my favorite was this. Let me find it. Like it's just even like a piece of pizza, but it's just very well done. There's a cityscape. Um, where is it? Like, just the thing of luggage. That's like this, these prints would look really cute if you just put them in a frame as is. But this one I really liked with the bees and the honey. And it just says etchings, vintage style illustrations, advanced coloring. Uh, and it's got the fox too, which my daughter would probably appreciate. So, there's that. Got these Halloween themed socks, probably for Willow, maybe me. Either or, got a little witch, a little black and, or purple and gray stripe with bats. Super cute. Um, oh, I got I got a bunch of these. I don't have them anymore because I gave them, I, I didn't, this haul was from like a week ago, two weeks ago, I'm not really sure, but I bought a bunch of these. They had them in all different colors. They're sugar skulls and they had like blue backgrounds with sugar skulls and pink and teal. Um, I bought myself a black one, of course, because it just fits with my clothes better. Um, but I bought like every one I saw, one of, they were on those um, like hangy hooks. They always have like at end caps. Um, I bought one of every color. I don't have them to show you though, because I gave them to all my nieces and sisters and whatnot. So I don't have them to show you, but look at how freaking cute they are. And again, they were only, it's only a dollar. It's only a dollar. And again, if you don't wear like scarves, you can put this on your bag, um, craft something with it. You know, do what you want. Um, I got these jars. These were super cute. If there were more, I would have bought more. I got the rose gold lid. I'm about to put some mint in there because I have a bunch of mint over there drying that needs to go somewhere. Um, but yeah, they just got this like, what's that word? Lattice shape. Love it. Surprise, surprise, I got some stickers. Well, actually, one of these aren't, three of these. Four of these? 
on stickers. They had these ones. A little farmhouse like. What the heck is going on? Uh, there's a little sheep with a flower crown going on right there. Very midsummer. I don't know what that's about. And then these aren't stickers. They are. What are they calling them? Self adhesive stencils. So they're just stencils. This one's got. Be happy, be you, be kind, be brave. Butterflies. And my favorite, these feathers. So cute. I got a thing of matches, which I already have a crap ton of matches, but these were longer, and I don't usually see these. And sometimes you need to get down in there to light a candle, so I grab them while I saw them. Dog clippers. I didn't even know we bought these. Uh, I don't know why Manny grabbed these. We have dog clippers, so whatever. There it is, dog clippers. If you were in the market for those, they have them. Extra your dollar tree. Another cable, a USB cable, because Every time we go, <laughs> we buy a USB cable. <laughs> um, shit. Um, skull lights. You can see them. There are ten of them. And they're probably AA batteries or AAA batteries. It does not say on here, but I'm going to go with that. Yeah, no, two AA batteries. Skull lights, cute. <sighs> batteries, because we always get batteries when we go there. This little sugar skull candle. So cute, we like her. She's got little roses in her hair. Um, I got this little bee bag. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably for gift giving something has handles I believe yes it does it's got little bees on it little flowers I wish they had done this in a black print instead of this turquoise because that would have made more sense uh, they had other prints too with like just flowers and stuff but I really like the bees um, so we've got that uh, we had all surprise oh, there's my receipt are we all surprised Hardly at all, but I grabbed some more pictures. I get these every time I go. I'm telling you guys, you like peach rings? I know these not wings. They don't have to be. These terrible ones are the best. Um. Oh yeah. I completely forgot I got this. So, it's this LA Colors Glows Color Craze Nail Polish. My glows in a black light. I don't know how good the nail polish is. I've actually never used LA Colors Nail Polish before in my life. I do like to get the... What's that cheap brand on Walgreens? It's actually pretty good. I can't think of the... I can't think of the brand. It's, it's really cheap. It's always like in the cosmetic section at like at the counter cosmetic I can't remember the name of it but that's like only the nail polish the only kind of nail polish I ever really buy I've never tried this so I don't know how good it is but I figured for Halloween black nail polish glowing black lights would be kind of cool for somebody I mean I'll probably wear it just to wear it but like if somebody needed it specifically for a costume situation I will have it I'm usually the makeup person like in my family when it's Halloween time tangent going on a tangent um and they're gonna be like somebody or a character and they need some sort of makeup thing I'm not at all like a professional or even that great at it but out of all of us I guess I'm the more into that sort of thing so
I figure add that to the arsenal of things people can wear should they need it. Oh, let me get rid of these real quick. Uh, more of these. You guys know I buy these all the time too. Me and my daughter's hair destroys drain. These work really well. Um, I got another one of those domes for uh, just in case. Batteries. Seeds. Um, all right, so guys, the next couple of tings, stuff and tings that I'm going to show you. My daughter's going to walk by, so if the camera shakes or whatever, you hear some. That's her. The next couple of things I'm going to show you, I got specifically to do a DIY, and I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about, and you've all freaking seen it, especially if you're on TikTok. The Crescent Moon Wreaths. So I bought this wreath form. In case I don't want to talk about you, look, you probably Google it, it'll pop up. But like they cut off like this much and wire wrap the ends, make it in a crescent moon, and then make it into a wreath, but a crescent moon wreath. Um, so I'm gonna try to do it because I really want one. And uh, I know Michael sells one that's super expensive. And I also heard that they stole that idea from somebody on Etsy, which is some bullshit. Um, either way, I'm cheap, but I'm also pretty crafty. So I want one. Yeah, girl, gonna try to make one. So again, the next couple things you see that I pull out this bag is specifically for the wreath making that I plan on doing and I will totally show y'all when I'm done doing that if I ever find the freaking time to actually do that because let me tell you so I got this moss there's I believe two bags of this somewhere um basically you put this on the wreath too and the one I've seen the one on Michael's has mushrooms on it which if I find little like clay mushrooms or something to put on there I would do that I'm gonna make mine a little more fall themed so I grabbed sunflowers, but I also grabbed moss. They have green moss there, and then they have this like beigey, deader looking moss, which I thought would fit better in a fall wreath. So I grabbed two bags of that. Somewhere is the second bag. I grabbed one thing of this sunflowers, a couple of things of these little white pumpkins, one for the wreath and one just to have on standby for anything really. Any kind of creative thing for the holiday season. More batteries. More C's. Oh, wait, no. These are D's. These are C's. Um, what is this? Oh, um, yes. This floral wire. This is what I'm going to try to attempt to use to make the tip of the wreath. They didn't have it. I know they have this in other colors. I couldn't find it in anything but this purple. Which isn't going to matter anyway because it's going to be covered uh, with moss. So you wouldn't see this to begin with. But, yeah, no. Oh, there's the other thing on moss. Um, we're going to go with this other bag I bought. It just says, ugh. Ugh. But it's a pretty decent size too. Only a dollar. Got it on both sides. Um, I got some more. Um, oops, I just fell off. More sunflowers, but they are different from these ones. They're both for the wreath, but I figured I had like sporadically put both colors. Would totally work out. I got these possibly for the wreath, but also just because I thought they were cute and you could use it for a multitude of things. And there are just these leaf clips. They're sparkly. There's a gold, a brown. I don't, I don't know how, I wouldn't eat that. I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's good anymore. Orange, brown, 
and gold. But they're really pretty. Their glitter falls out all the time, which sucks. Uh, I hear if you spray this with hairspray, it's supposed to help. I don't know, I've never tried it. But I got those possibly for the wreath, possibly for something else. I don't know, we shall see. Oh, I got these little boxes. They're like books, or they're trying to be books, but they're boxes. Kate, it says spells, and it's got a little um, spider, and the size looks like pages. It's just a little box. Just put a gift in, or I don't know, something. But I got that one. I got this one. This is the Witch's Book of Spells, and then it says the same thing on the side. And the back, I wish they didn't have this barcode. I wish it was just one of them stickers you could pull off because it kind of like ruins it a little bit. But again, there's the book pages on the side. And then this one was my favorite <laughs> for obvious reasons. It says curses and hexes, and it's got a little skull. And little roses reminds me of Lucinda. Hey girl, she's over there watching me film this. And then the back, which again, I wish that was. And that was that. Oh, I got silly bears. Is that what I these? Also one in there. Um Surprise, surprise, more batteries, more D's. Uh, I got these little color your own ornaments. They're shaped like foxes, and they're, you get eight of them. I mean, yeah, you can make an ornament with this, but you could also like paint them or put them in a wreath or like, I don't know, something. Again, my daughter really likes foxes. I pretty, I, I dig them too, but I just thought it was a little cool little crafting essential and this is like again the crafter square stuff anything that's got this orange that's seasonal so it's not going to be there after the intended season i believe it's green for um christmas if you see anything like this crafter square stuff that's got not the light blue which is their like everyday line pick it up because it's not going to be there after it's you know after halloween fall, Christmas, all that's over. It's just on the down. And that's not cool. You know, you want something, you see it now. Like even Christmas stuff the other day I was there, I didn't actually buy anything, but I almost did because there was a few things I was like, oh, it's super cute. And with the Dollar Tree, like if you want something, get it now because it might not be there when you come back. And uh, it's like, there's a few things I regret not picking up then, but hopefully they're still there when I go back. So I got these three little wooden signs. This one says a spooky witch and her boo haunt here. A witch on it. It is glittery and super cute. I thought it was funny, a witch and her boo, like Manny was my boo. But also my oldest, Ashton, his nickname is Boo. It's always been Boo. So it also fits that way. A witch and her boo live here. Um, yeah, Boo Skirdoo also. His name's Boo or Boo Skirdoo. It's a whole thing. Spider Venom, highly toxic. And they do have hangers. They do have little hangers if you want to hang it on a wall or they're wide enough where you can just set it on a counter or a bookshelf. But I really liked the spider, so I got the spider. And then this one is my favorite just because of how vintage it looks. And it says, have a spooktacular Halloween. And it's just black around the sides. And again, it's got the little hanger. I don't know if I held that up long enough for y'all to see. Um, oh, I got this. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to show, I guess. But it's like a little hangy. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. That's a little easier. It's a little hangy thing. Sugar skulls for Day of the Dead. Um, fun fact, Day of the Dead is the day I quit smoking like seven years ago. Seven, eight years ago. Um, but I didn't get this to hang this. I mean, I might just hang it up. But also I figured if you wanted to pull this apart and maybe make a, like a 
Day of the Dead wreath. You could pull this apart and throw this on a wreath form. Some other creepy stuff. And that would be super cute. Um, think outside the box when it comes to Dollar Tree because it's only dollars. So if you pull it apart, if you mess it up, whatever. It's not like you're out a great deal of money. And then I got this big one that I thought maybe if I did a wreath, wreath thing, like the wreath idea, I could hang this up anywhere. It would look cute, creepy. But I thought if I did do the wreath idea, you could put this big one in the middle of it and then all the little like hats and other smaller skulls around it. That would be really cute. And I really liked this one. They had a couple different designs of this guy, but this one was my favorite. And then, eh, they had these two wooden signs, like Sugar Skull, they're plain so you can paint them. I seen a bunch of people on TikTok take these and like put them on black shirts and then spray them with bleach and then like lift them and then it leaves the print of it on the shirt. So I might do that with these. I might also just craft with them. I mean, you could use these two to spray paint this design on something. So again, there is like multitude of uses for these little um, chip wood like signs and things like, these are so cute. So I got them and I believe that's it. What? crazy yeah that's it okay all right we went we went through that faster than i thought we were gonna so like i said uh, a lot of it was for one simple project that i want to do which is a little wreath again i will try to make a video on that or like i don't think i would like film me doing the whole process but I'll do check-ins on it because I don't think I can get it all done in one day either. I work full-time. I have kids. I have to maintain. So I don't get to sit around and craft as much as I'd like. But I will definitely check in with you the process. Like, here it is starting. Here's what I'm doing here. Like, step by step. And then the final product, which I'm kind of excited about. I want to make one, I was on Google, um, well this is already 22 minutes, whatever, I don't care, I'm tangent, if you don't want to hear this, I was already on Amazon, sorry I'm eating, something like food AMS, ASMR, I was already on Amazon looking for like little wooden bees, because I also wanted, like after I make one and I know I'm alright with it and I can do it, I want to make one for my sister because she's been really into bees, so I buy like it's been like neither one of us knew where the other one was like into bees but she's been into bees lately too so I wanted to get like little wooden bee bees make a wreath like that and then like stick little bees on the flowers and stuff I haven't found specifically what I'm looking for yet but when I do I will make her one too well seriously guys get these are so I can eat a bag of these a day. I, I wouldn't because of my figure. <laughs> I'm going to keep my girlish figure. I wouldn't, but um, I could. But that's all I got. That's all I bought. Um, you know, if you like this video, thumbs it up. If you like to see more like it in the future, subscribe. Or don't do those things. That's cool too. I don't judge. Um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.